Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm going to try to find out if some of those 241 people that I had the great joy of talking to last night in the introductory session came here this morning. Are you here? Yeah. All right, because I'm going to count on you later, because you've got a little preview to uh, what we're going to do with these wooden nickels. So since you got the preview, you're going to be my experts in a little while. Um, I'm really excited to add my welcome to Kevin's, uh, and I'm particularly excited to be here to talk about entrepreneurs. Um, as Kevin mentioned, over the last weekend, we had almost 100 social entrepreneurs as well as uh, accelerator leaders and um, experts join us at the Hub for a tremendous weekend of learning and community building together. And much of this was uh, thanks to a wonderful organization called Halloran Philanthropies, who not only has committed itself to the social entrepreneur and the accelerator movement, but also helped us put this weekend together. I can't see a thing out there um, because of the lights, but um, are any, uh, Mark or Tony or Harry, are any of you here? Could, if you, yes, no? Anyway, with great thanks to them, we were able to put on this weekend. If they were here, I'd want them to stand up and get your recognition themselves. So I'm gonna let all of you share a little bit in what we did this weekend, because we're gonna roll a little movie in and let you experience it with us. If you could do that now, thank you. Well, this is a huge um, new uh, approach for us. We're really, really excited about the focus that we've decided to take on the entrepreneur. And this is the first year where we're really making that very evident, uh, both before and during SOCAP. So this year we decided to add on a whole weekend experience just for the entrepreneurs where they would get to know each other, even to help them prepare for SOCAP. Kicking off with this Accelerator Weekend is incredible because it flips the power dynamic on its head. Um, it puts the entrepreneurs in control. Really, the entrepreneur is at the heart of the matter. Um, without success for social entrepreneurs, the great changes that we're trying to see in the world will never take place. So what we're trying to do is help these entrepreneurs understand that they're not just one person that's going into this effort by themselves, that they're part of a community of individuals that are ultimately helping one another in achieving the world that we want. A, a gathering like this creates a network, it creates a support system. It's all about relationship first and business uh, second. In terms of the environment here, it's great to see the entrepreneurs just meeting each other, being really excited, uh, being very energetic and engaged. Um, it's great to see just a lot of also the accelerator leaders being represented and leading sessions and there's a lot of great content that's going on. This Accelerator Weekend is the first event that all these leading accelerators have worked together. It's not that they're competitive, but they haven't worked together. So we have people from Echo and Green, from Dasra in India, from the Unreasonable Institute, from Village Capital, from Hub Ventures. We're working together and so sometimes each group has a way that they teach and now we we're doing this cross-disciplinary thing where everybody's learning from everybody and everybody's getting smart or faster. It's like an explosive atmosphere of uh, innovation and engagement and I think also of good companionship that we're on the same team, we're here to help each other. And so I think one of the ways that we're accelerating the good economy is just learning to broaden and learning to say, oh, you're part of the solution too, from bike sharing to cleaning water in Uganda. We're learning that all of us are part of that solution and that you know the solution comes from everywhere, from everybody, and everybody has something to bring. I think once again, SOCAP has, has developed a real breakthrough by bringing together well over a hundred entrepreneurs from around the world, many of whom uh, have never met, met each other before. But within a short tunnel of time, relationships are formed, ideas are exchanged, and, uh, and excitement and enthusiasm develops from this amazing gathering of entrepreneurs. As someone said, it's impossible to measure the impact that this two-day gathering will have on the lives of the people here.
You'll see a lot of entrepreneurs join us on stage over the next few days. Some of them will have the opportunity to pitch you their blended value proposition for impact, both financially and socially, uh, for the world we seek. Um, you'll see um, lots of entrepreneurs join you for conversation. There was no way in the world that we could have every single one of these fantastic entrepreneurs that were with us this weekend join us on stage during the next couple of days. But I can testify to the fact, having listened to dozens of pitches over the weekend, that you will have a chance to hear from many of them as you converse with the community that's here with us for the next few days. One part of the weekend's experience was particularly unique, and um, it was um, the work of, a, of the peers themselves, of the 100 entrepreneurs, to come together and to um, use a process of peer voting to vote for five of their own whom they felt would make the best use of creating a campaign with our partners at Indiegogo to raise immediate capital for their entrepreneurial ventures. And with me on stage right now are Alex, Sheikh, Veronica, Paseka, and Tony, who were selected uh, in this peer voting process to create these campaigns, and each of whom has an immediate need for uh, financial capital that really is best suited for this kind of uh, crowdfunding campaign. We're talking about thousands of dollars, we're not talking about millions of dollars, that really helps them get to an immediate next stage of their enterprise's growth. So the next thing that we're going to do here today is we're going to let you see each of their campaigns. We're gonna roll them one by one, and then when that's finished, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how you're gonna participate in this campaign. So first we're gonna roll the videos, then I'm gonna give you a chance to do your quick pitch, and after that, I'll tell you all how you can participate in this, uh, in this campaign. So why don't we start with the first one, if we could. Thank you. My name is Alex Eaton, and I'm coming from Mexico City. I started Buen Manejo del Campo, which is a for-profit company based in Mexico that fabricates Sistema Biobols, which is a low-cost biodigester system. So small farmers today face uh, huge list of challenges and in addition to that they live really intimately with the animal manure and waste that is produced at their small farm and so what Sistema Vila Bolsa does is it takes that waste and through anaerobic digestion it converts it into a high potency organic fertilizer. The byproduct from that is a renewable biogas that can be used for cooking and heating. I think our technology is transformative in that we turn something that's a waste into such a valuable resource and so we actually turn the dirtiest of all wastes into something that's really beautiful and productive. And so I think the impact of our meaning is that there is no waste. There's only just opportunities that people haven't yet to discover. <laughs> Good morning. At Sistema Bolsa, we're able to improve the health and efficiency of small farmers by leveraging their buying power with a microfinance fund that allows us to introduce technology and education. We're gonna show that model here by introducing pilot programs for every 100 tokens that we get from this group here. And I think Penelope is gonna explain that a little later. We're here at SoCap because we're always looking for really talented people, new ideas and collaborations that'll help us improve this impact. There's hundreds of millions of small farms around the world that could use this technology, so please come talk to me if you wanna be part of that effort. You got 10 more seconds. Thank you very much, this is really amazing. <laughs> Let's roll the next one. My name is Sheikh A. Toure. I'm from Liberia. And my company is Liberation Chocolate. Basically, we rehabilitate abandoned cocoa farms in Liberia. And through that, we provide employment opportunities for former child soldiers. Most of these uh, former child soldiers have turned to beggars, and these are people that got used to fighting. If we don't provide them employment opportunity, I mean, the country is not safe. I have a lot of farms that are waiting for me right now. I have a lot of farmers knocking at our doors that want us to include them in our network because they don't have the hand to refurbish their farm, to rehabilitate those farms. We will, I mean, increase the number of farms in our network, produce more cocoa beans, and then make more profit, employ more for more child soldiers.
Um, we need your token. We need your token because every token you give to us will help us rehabilitate the 100 acres of cocoa farm we've just acquired. And if you are interested in seeing peace, perpetual peace in Liberia, if you are interested in the rehabilitation and reintegration of former child soldiers, please don't hesitate to contact me. We are raising $250,000. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. This is hard. This 30 second stuff is really hard. You guys are doing great. Okay, next one, please. My name is Veronica de Souza, and I'm the co founder and managing director of Ruby Cup. This is a Ruby Cup, it's a menstrual cup that is reusable for 10 years, and we sell it to girls and women in low income areas through women to women sales. We also give them out to schoolgirls. Menstruation is an overlooked barrier to development. It's a taboo, not many people are talking about it, and it's the main cause for school dropout for girls, because they stay home 20% of their school time because they're ashamed of leaking and they don't have anything. Ruby Cup is a very simple solution. Uh, we have started the company in Kenya and are working with women and girls in Kenya, but it can be used worldwide. I'm at SoCap to find partners, to find investors, to learn from other entrepreneurs and to build a network. At Ruby Cup, we make meaning matter. Um, by changing the lives of girls and women who are today struggling because they can't afford menstrual hygiene products. Thank you. This is the Ruby Cup. With $2,000, we here can provide Ruby Cups to 250 schoolgirls who can go through primary and all the way through college without having to worry about their menstruation again. So put your coins in the cup. <laughs> I am here at SoCap because we want to reach one million women and girls. So we're looking for funding, $500,000, advisors, and connections. Let's start the conversation about menstruation. Thank you. Paseka, I am from South Africa and uh, the company I run is WHC, it stands for Water Hygiene Convenience. South Africa, like uh, most countries, is, is a semi-arid country and according to the World Health Organization, by 2025 our water consumption will exceed availability. So the issue that we're addressing is the looming water crisis we might face in the near future. At this point in time, we are working on our benchmark, which we call the Eco-Dynamic Toilet. Uh, its objective is to save 132 gallons of water a day in one toilet, and it's retrofitable into the standard toilet. As you open the tank, you take out the ball mechanism, you put in hours, you close the tank, you continue as usual. You flush after doing whatever you've done and life continues. You're just constantly saving water. Thank you. We have five letters of interest, three from South African government agencies, two from construction companies here in the USA. Your $5 tokens will help us take our prototype to a market-ready product. Our next step is mass production. We are looking for 120,000 from an investor and we're looking for inf infiltration into the USA market. If you believe that every drop of water counts, let us count your token. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And last but certainly not least, Tony. My name is Tony Ndungu. I am from Kenya and my organization is called Kitabu. So Kitabu is a textbook uh, subscription application on a low-cost tablet that allows students to be able to access books in a micro-payment system. So what we've done is by digitizing textbooks and offering them on a $10 tablet, uh, we've allowed people to be able to buy textbooks in that kind of system. You can buy a page for an hour, you can buy a chapter for a day, you can buy a book for a month. And that allows people to be able to fit the costing of textbooks 
into their budget. But we, wanna, we want to do a, a large pilot in Kenya from February, March and April of 2013. And we're trying to raise $350,000 to do that. If we do the pilot to a successful government standard, then we have a better chance of penetrating the government system and getting them to incorporate this in the, in the national curriculum. My pitch is there, so there's very little to add to that. Uh, I couldn't read because my mind was wired different, but 7.5 million kids in Kenya can't read because their parents can't afford it. There's about a billion other kids in the world. We think we've cracked it. We need your help to make it happen. In about two weeks, we're going to stand in front of the government and sell this to them, and we need $8,000 to prove it on a tablet. Your token counts for me and for them. Thank you very much. So um, if, if all the other entrepreneurs that are in the room that were with us this weekend could just stand up for a minute, I'd really appreciate it. Everyone who is here, and let's just give everybody a round of applause. So how do you all come in? Well, this is where I get to call on my, my 200 and whatever it was group of hot, sweaty people that joined Ben and me and Gab, Ben and Gabby and me last night to learn about SOCAP. Um, all of you already know where these are, and so do probably most of the rest of you, but just to make this fun for all of us, those of you who were with me last night, raise your coin high. Show everybody where it is. It's inside your badge holder. Wave it. Wave it around. Let's get some waving going. Okay. Wave those tokens at one another. See, I have a few extras. I can throw them out here. Ooh, money. OK, whoops, that one went the wrong way. Go that way. This is like Lucille at the ballpark. They don't go very far. <laughs> I'll throw them around a little later. In any event, this is where you come in. Um, as you've heard, uh, each of these individuals has been selected by their peers. They've created a campaign. It's on Indiegogo. Uh, but you can take care of your commitment right here while you're at SOCAP. Each of you has one of these. Um, it's, uh, it's yours to drop in the bucket of the entrepreneur of your choice. Where are those buckets? Those buckets are at an entrepreneur table staffed by all of the entrepreneurs that were with us this weekend. And it is located uh, in the uh, building where the hub pop-up space is taken over. Um, you won't have any trouble finding it. I went and found it myself this morning. It says entrepreneur table. There'll be entrepreneurs staffing it uh, all weekend. However, I know these five. And if any of you are lagging, if we feel that you're not getting these into the buckets, I promise you, knowing these five, that they will be after you. Um, they will be uh, doing whatever they can to come find you and make sure that you contribute. We really want every single one of these in a bucket over the next couple of days, and I know that we can all do that together. Additionally, I wanted to mention to you that if you're particularly compelled to make additional contributions to their campaigns, you can go on the Indiegogo sites, There'll be explanations about their campaigns. You can uh, contribute there as well, of course. The campaigns will last through the weekend. Um, also, if any of you, like me, have that old-fashioned thing in your purse that's called a checkbook, and um, you actually want to write a check, that's OK. You can take a check. You can drop it in the bucket. Uh, we, the SOCAP team, will make sure that there's a proper accounting. If you do write a check, I should mention to you, write it to SOCAP, and then put the name of the person for whom it's designated at the bottom of the check and drop it in the bucket. We'll take care of all the accounting and they'll make sure that they get all of their contributions uh, before the end of the weekend. So that's what we're going to be doing with the entrepreneurs over the next few days. And before I close out my remarks, I just wanted to close by saying that, as you can probably tell, I'm passionate about entrepreneurs. I'm a social entrepreneur myself. Um, I think entrepreneurs are really at the heart of the matter in terms of how we're going to create lasting social change, how we're going to create a financial and economic and social sustainable future for all of us. And so we here at, um, at SOCAP and the Hub, the entire organization, which includes SOCAP, our Hub organizations, Hub cities, and the great opportunities to create accelerator programs like our Hub Ventures program, we are newly dedicating ourselves, really, really committing our resources to the entrepreneur. We're really trying to create and will be creating over the next uh, few years 
a flourishing environment for the social entrepreneur. We have a great opportunity to do that because we feel we have a platform that has broad reach. We, we see some of that today. So you'll hear more from us about that, but I just wanted to close by letting you know that that's something that, that, um, that is so important to all of us and that for me and for all of us here at SOCAP is, is just thrilling next step for us. So thank you all and have a great day, everybody. Thanks.